Welcome to Section 6 of the Backend Web Development Using Go video course, part of the Web Programming with Go series. In this section, we will implement user login functionality into the GopherFace web application. We will show you how to run the GopherFace web application using a TLS web server instance. We will show you how to verify user credentials. We will show you how to implement a secure cookie. We will show you how to implement a user session. And finally, we will show you how to implement authentication middleware. In this video, we will show you how to run our web application using a TLS web server instance. Before we can implement user login functionality, we must ensure secure communication with the web server. And for that, we will be using the TLS protocol for client-server communication. We will introduce you to TLS. We will show you how to generate a self-signed developer certificate. And we will show you how to run the web server instance using TLS. HTTP is not a good protocol for transmitting sensitive data. That's because all information is sent out in the clear. Up until now, we've been using the HTTP protocol to run the GopherFace web application. Sensitive information that we submit through the web forms is transmitted in the clear. This means that it's easy for a third party to eavesdrop on the communication between the web server and the web client. And a malicious party can sniff out passwords and email addresses and other sensitive data. We need a means to have the client communicate in a secure manner with the server. And that's what the TLS protocol is for. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security. It's a cryptographic protocol that provides secure communication over a network. The TLS Handshake protocol allows the server and client to authenticate before any communication is done. A TLS connection is secure, and data transmitted through TLS is encrypted. We will be using OpenSSL to generate a self-signed certificate for the GopherFace website. In the process of creating the self-signed certificate, we first generate a private key that identifies the GopherFace website. You can learn more about how to use the OpenSSL command by visiting the OpenSSL website. So here, we've created a certs directory that's inside the GopherFace auth directory. This is where we will store the generated private key and the self-signed certificate that the OpenSSL command will generate for us. We issue the following command to generate the certificate and the private key. Once we run this command, we have two files generated for us. First, we have the private key, gopherfacekey.pem, and then we have gopherfacecert.pem which is the self-signed certificate for our web application. Our website will run at gopherface.local, a custom local domain that we created. In order for us to use gopherface.local, we must first add an entry in our Etsy host file to associate the gopherface.local domain to the local loopback address 127.0.0.1. Now that we've generated our certificate, let's open up the key chain access program. You should make sure that you have selected always trust for the gopherface.local web certificate. This will ensure that all web browsers using the system's keychain will respect the self-signed developer certificate that we just made and we won't get any warnings from the web browser saying that we have an untrusted certificate. Let's open up the gopherface.go source file in the gopherface auth directory. Here, in this constant grouping, 
we have assigned the port number 8443 to the web server port constant. This will be the port that our TLS web server instance will communicate on. In order to run our web server instance over the TLS protocol, we must use the listen and serve TLS function from the HTTP package. As inputs to the function, we supply the web server port, the location of the self-signed certificate file, and the location of the private key file. After recompiling our code, let's go ahead and run the web server instance now. Let's access the login form using the login route. We will go through the login handler that handles this route in the next video. The Google Chrome web browser presents this green secure label here, along with a green padlock icon. This indicates that we've established a secure connection to the GopherFace web application using our self-signed certificate. In this video, we introduced you to the TLS protocol. We generated a self-signed developer certificate, and we showed you how to run the web server instance using the TLS protocol. Now that we've established secure communications with the server, we're going to look into how we can verify user credentials in the next video.